Nee, Maya, ich hab davor. Nee, die Maya, ich hab davor. Commencing reading from the swan. Nehemiah chapter 4. Commencing reading from the swan. But it came to pass that when Sambalat heard that we builded the wall, he was wrought and took great indignation and mock the Jews. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble, feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in the day? Will they revive the stones? out of the heaps of rubbish which are born. Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him and he said even that which they build if a ox go up it shall fall even break down their stones wall. Four and last Yet, O oh our God, for we are despised and turn their great push upon their own head and give them for a prayer in the land of captivity. The Lord bless this world in Jesus' name. Last Sunday, we discuss on a message that says, Oh God, disgrace my workers. Yeah? Oh God, disgrace my workers. Today is a continuation of that message that we had last Sunday. Oh God, disgrace my mockers. You are seated here and there are some challenges around you. There are some difficult times you are passing. There are, there are, there are tears from your eyes. There are things you are believing God for. And some blessings are somewhere laughing and mocking at you. There are things you are believing God for. There are expectations that you are believing God for. But there are some blessings somewhere looking at you, laughing and mocking you. There are some that are celebrating your downfall. There are some that are celebrating your failure. There are some that are celebrating seeing you cry. But my prayer for you this morning is that there are so many of them that has camped up, that has put their heads together, that has opened their mouth wide to mock you before the end of this year. She over with disgrace me. Yeah. If you want to shout the amen, shout it better. Yeah, yeah. I say there are so many of them that has camped up against you, that has put their head together, in other words, to mock and to rubbish you before the end of this month. God himself will disgrace them. Yeah, yeah. If you are that person, let me hear you like thunder. Yeah, yeah. They look at you, you must be naturally okay. And they look at you, you continue to put on one trouser every day. And they look at you, you cannot pay the fees of your children. And they look at you, you cannot pay your assets. And they sat down and they begin to love you. But before the end of this year, everyone will disgrace them. And they look at you, you cannot, you, you cannot train your children. When other people children are eating fine, your own children cannot eat fine. Look at you and they laugh you, and they look at you and they mock you, and they look at you and they ridicule you. That I pray for you this day, before the end of this year, she 
disgrace them. Yeah. If you want to shout the amen, shout it better. Yeah. Oh God, disgrace my workers. Let me look you through the scripture. If your mockers must be disgraced, if your mockers must be disgraced, there are some qualities as a child of God that you need to carry. If your mockers must be mocked, if your mockers must be disgraced, there are some qualities you need to carry. The Lord is speaking to somebody right now. Before the end of this year, you will receive a call that will change your life for better. There is a sister in this house they are putting you off. And then nothing good can come out from that direction anymore. But in no time to come, you shall be celebrated. Yeah. I thought I would hear a better email in the house. Yeah. If your mockers must be disgraced, number one thing you need to put in practice as a child of God, your confidence must be put On God and God alone. If those persons that are mocking you must be put to shame, if those persons that are mocking you must be put to shame, your confidence must be put in God and God alone. The reason why some of you are facing challenges, the reason why the the reason why they are winning the battle is because your trust is not in God. Let me announce to somebody, when you put your trust in God, God will see you through. God will fight you back. When you put your trust in God, God will grant you your heart desire. Even the spirits that love at you will fall in your presence. Amen. Let me hear that even my tongue now. Your enemies that mock not be disgraced. You must put your trust in God and God alone. When Tobias tried to attack Nehemiah and his men, the Bible made me to understand that Nehemiah continued to pray to God. Nehemiah trust was. With God, He never allowed anything to disturb you. My prayer for you today: May the Lord boost in your faith. May the Lord encourage your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you want your mockers to be discreet. Number two thing you need to put in practice as a believer. Be merciful and be kind to others. Be merciful and be kind to others. In the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 2 to 4, the Bible made me to understand that when they And they gave him a report and they say your brothers and your sisters that are in Jerusalem, they are facing a lot of challenges. They are facing a lot of pain. The Bible says Nehemiah went inside his house and wept for his brothers and sisters. And at that 
Christ I will look at believer. You call yourself a believer and a brother in the church is suffering. You cannot assist. You call yourself a believer and a sister in the house is suffering. You can't assist them and you call yourself a believer. If you want your enemies to be mocked, learn how to assist one another. There are some persons out there that need your help. There are some persons that you are better than. You, they shall be disgraced. If you are the person that is here, you have a light Nehemiah, as he has to assist one another, I see Nehemiah as a believer. I see him as a Christ like. I see him that has a mind to assist persons. Let me tell you something. When when you face challenges and I come close to you and I assist you, you know what you say? God bless. Eh? And any day you hear that something is wrong with me, what will you do? You you fire prayer. Any demon that has troubled that man that assists me, oh God, disgrace. It is practical. If your enemies must be mocked, learn to assist one another. If your enemies must be mocked, there are so many persons that need our help. There are so many persons that need our financial help. There are so many persons that are in need. Learn to lend your hand to somebody. So that the Lord will bless you and in for Jesus. Amen. If your mockers must be disgraced, number three. You must learn to work for God. Am I talking to somebody? Your mockers must be disgraced. You must learn to work for God. And look at beautiful ladies in the house. Fine guys in the house. Looking good. Take a realistic. Swagalicious. Yes. God created you and put those beautiful environments on you. Yes. How many times have you decided to work for God? Nehemiah chapter 4 made me to understand that Nehemiah went and built the walls of Jerusalem that was broke down. So many of you sit down here. How many times have you devoted your time to work for God? How many times have you devoted your time to come out and work for God? If your enemies must be mocked or disgraced, you must learn to walk for God. It hates me when I see young boys. See that old. See that old. Relax. Be free. You want God to work for you. You want God to grant you your heart desire. You want God to disgrace your enemies. You want God to take you to the next level. You want God to fight for you. The question is, what are you doing for God? What are you doing for God? You want your enemy to be disgraced, yes. You want your enemy to be mocked, yes. What are you doing for God? If your enemies must be disgraced, if your enemies must be mocked, learn how to walk for God. There are so many ways to walk for God. There are some that will sing for God. Eh? Hello? There are some that will sing for God. There are some that will come and keep the church up and clean. There are so many ways. 
If your enemy must be mocked, of his grace, you must learn to walk for God. The Bible says, Nehemiah went and viewed the walls of Jerusalem. There are walls that are falling behind you. There are so many walls that are falling. The Lord is coming to somebody. He said, my daughter, walk for me. He said, my son, walk for me. When you do that, every enemy fighting against you shall be disgraced, amen. shall be exposed, amen. shall be brought to nothing. Amen. Let me hear that amen like thunder. Amen. Your enemy must be disgraced. Your mockers must be disgraced. Number four. Number four. You must learn to pray a deadly prayers. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? You must learn to pray messless prayer. Deadly ones. When they conspire. Nehemiah did not pray, O oh Lord, have mercy upon them. Did Nehemiah pray, O oh Lord, have mercy upon them? No. Who can tell me the prayer of Nehemiah? He said, O oh God, Jesus what? And somebody should open the Nehemiah chapter 4. Nehemiah 4 4. Oh our God, for we are this. I pray, oh God, rubbish. Oh God, eliminate their career. Oh God, finish their destiny. Nehemiah never prayed, let my enemy live long and see what I will be in the future. I am convinced in my heart. When, 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 they, when they conspired and mocked Nehemiah, Nehemiah went back and began to say, oh God, rubbish their career. Forsake their destiny. Destroy their generation. Scatter their destiny and kill their children, 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 children. And if I end their lineage. If your enemies will be mocked, if your enemies will be disgraced, learn how to pray intensely and in messless prayers. The reason why they are triumphing over you is because at times when they strike you, wah, you lean down and say, God, have mercy upon that witchcraft. You say, God, one day I know they will repent. Say, God, one day I know they will repent. You do not find pleasure in sinners' death. When Paul was testifying about the death of Stephen, something struck my mind. I think Stephen was killed, and Stephen was in sin, and Paul ordered for his death, and he was killed, and Stephen died and go to hell. Paul would have repented and go to heaven. Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you. I don't pray God. Let my enemy live long and see what I will be in future. I pray, oh God, as so many of them that raised to fight me, let thunder from my book locate them immediately. As so many of them that are scanned up together, oh heaven, gang up against them. As so many of them that are dig a bit for me, oh God, may you use your mighty shovel and dig a bit for them. As so many of them that want to bury me this year, oh God, may you bury them and their children, their grandchildren, cross their lineage. That is my prayer. If your enemies 
must be disgraced. If your mockers must be disgraced, you must learn to pray a deadly and a nestless prayer. As you do that, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let us rise from our feet as we talk to God in a few minutes.